Hello, and welcome to Chief Architect Workshop. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Okay, today we're going to learn how to combine units together, stack them up vertically, horizontally, insert a door, and using uh, the various tools of Chief. 3 by 4 so we're going to stick it 2 inches in there. And um, so this is how you would play with that, and you'll see how that works in plan. So we've got our 36 by 36, get it done. Now let's put another one. Or we can just hit Control since we've got it for 48. Control C, Control V, pop that guy in there, slide it down, and you'll see you'll feel that bump. You feel it? It's bumping at two inches. So when you scroll, you'll see that two squares. It's two inches. You see that two-inch bump. So it's automatically chief automatically hits it at two. Let's do a Control C, Control V. We got three windows, one, two, three, and then we go to a door. Control V. Pop that guy in there, slide it until we feel the bump. Bonk. There it is. There's our two inches. There's our three units. Okay, let's make this look more like this. So this should be a window hinge on the other side. So we hit the left hinge there. And this should be a fixed unit. Double click there. We'll go to a fixed glass there. So now we've got a fixed glass. Now it's looking closer. Uh, these all have the same teratone color. So let's uh, let's do some editing here. What do we have here? What are our materials? Uh, bright, 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 bright. Sash bone. Uh, sash slate on the outside. We really want that to be. Let's keep it all bone. On the outside. Uh, so let's just go here. Let's go. Click there. Select material. Go to plan materials. And we'll see that the color bone shows up right there. And we hit that there. And now that should be bone. So that turns the bone. Now we can hit our um, color object color guy here. Click on that and paint the other ones with the bone. Bone. There we are, looking closer to what we got here. Now let's insert the door. All right, we've decided since this occurs in a nine foot ceiling space, the windows have defaulted to six, eight. So let's pick all these windows, go here. And instead of the 80, the 68, we are going to go to um, 90. So we're going to add 10 inches, or actually 7 foot 6. 7 foot 6, 10. 90, that is 90. Okay, that's what we would like. We have to raise these guys up. And now they occur in the same 9 foot ceiling. And that allows more light to penetrate. Uh, deeper into the space by raising the windows up. But now we're going to need a custom door. Fortunately, Bella does make uh, a door custom to line up with our 7 foot 6 inch height. And we're going to install a 3 foot door, uh, again custom, to match this. We're going to be building uh, 15 of these units. So we'll, uh, we'll negotiate with uh, Anderson for a good price on these. Okay, let's pop a door in. Build. Door. Hinge door. Right there. Hello. Build. Door. Hinge door. There we go. Now we're talking. And that's how we want it. And see how we, as we scooch it there, ooh, we want it at about one or two inch mole on there. Let's, let's make sure we have a two inch mole. We got one, two. Yeah, that'll work. Two inch mole. But look what's happening here. That's kooky stuff. That's not the door you wanted. That's the default door. 
So we want to make it look more like the door that we need. And our door style is a, no, not a glass slab. Excuse me. There, glass panel. And it is 90. It is 36. And now let's see what that looks like. There we go. That's our boy. That's what we want there. Okay. All right, let's build some uh, vertical units. Let's stack these on the second floor. So, down on the first floor, there's our door. Let's pick a window here. Control C, Control V. That's a 3040. Now we want to change it to that guy, but let's go to the second floor. And we're going to pop it right on top of this guy. Okay, let's see. Let's zoom in on that window and see if we can find that center line. I don't know, it's not showing. Okay, let's put it here temporarily. And. Ooh, okay, I like to. Let's go downstairs. Let's draw a line. Is it a trick? Draw a line, and when we get the midpoint of that door, we'll put a center line in there. Where are you, dude? Talk to me. You should be snapping to it. There it is, the little triangle guy. See that triangle guy up here in nowhere? Where is he? Triangle, where are you? He's not showing up either. Is he on? No, we're not on that guy. That's the deal. Hmm. All right, pick the line. Let's find that center point. Come on, tell me you're in the center point. There it is. Jeez. Making things difficult. Let's go up. We want to make sure that uh, CAD lines are displayed. So, I don't know what's going on. Okay, what we want to do is get to a reference display set, not that, and define it. We want to make sure our CAD line becomes a reference. So let's go to CAD. It's not shown. We're going to display it. All right, and now we have some center lines so we can line things up to display from the floor below. And let's try that again. Let's take this guy, slide that guy over until it snaps right there. Now we know that that guy is lined up perfectly there. There he is. Let's... Um, See what's going on with this guy. Let's see what the defaults are and what we want to change them to. Um, he said 90 because we copied him. And above, we're going to stick to a standard height of 80 uh, for the top window. But this is the bottom window. We're going to make the bottom window our zero window layer. And that bottom window, um, if our top is, uh, if we have 6, 8, then the top of that window, floor to the top of the window. Um, first of all, we want to maintain 24 as our bottom. Our window width still stays 36. So we're going to make this 20. And we're going to make this uh, 24. And the reason we make this 24 is that. Uh, Safety glass would have to be installed by code uh, below 24 inches. So if we scooch it up to 24, no one's going to kick it in, and we can uh, use standard glass and not pay the premium for the uh, safety glass. Uh, but for 
architectural reasons, we may want to do something different in this project. Uh, we're more of the mid-range, so we are watching our pennies as we design. Uh, now this project does not have a sill. We do not have an exterior sill. We just wrap around like that, and it's an awning. So we go here, and yeah, we'll make it an awning. Where are you? I see you awning. And it looks like that. And it will be on the zero layer. Uh, so options, zero for vertical stacking. Zero means this is the layer that will display uh, in the plan view. And so <laughs> keep that there. And that is where we want that window there. Now, let's go back downstairs. I'm going to pick a window. That's a good one. I'm going to copy it. And we're going to go upstairs. We're going to edit paste. And we are going to put it right on top. We, we have our center line snap, so we know it can go there. And there we go. But it's doing some weird stuff, so let's clean that up. Number one is the wrong size because it's 24 by 38. So we got to change that to 36. So it lines up nicely. And it's not at 90. Number. It's at 80. And the sill does not exist. And let's see how we're doing here. Better. But we still, that's not really what it's looking like. Uh, what we can do is, oh, and it's fixed. In this case, in this master bedroom upstairs, it's fixed. So we go here, uh, user type, it's fixed glass. There. And we get rid of this stuff by, let's pick these two together. And let's mow it. And that should clean it up. There you have it. Let's draw another little reference. Okay, let's create that reference line. Right down here. See where it is? There's a little triangle. And now we have a reference line. Go upstairs. Now, let's, uh, we have a mold unit. Let's hit Control C, Control V. And we want that mold unit to line up right next to that door on this guy here. So we hit Control V. And we want it to be right there. Hello. Let's try this again. Pick here, there, Control C. Get to this drawing. Oh, we hadn't did get to this drawing. That was the issue. Control V. Now we are in that drawing. We got the little symbol, the paste symbol, and right there it lines up beautifully. And there we are. Now we want the door from down below. Let's go to this guy here. There is the door. Control C. Go back to the second floor. Control V. There he is. And that door occurs on this line here. And there it is, but it's the wrong size, uh, etc. And I believe, I wonder if we want the door swing. That probably should swing the other way. So we can change a couple things. We go to the dialog box. Uh, number one, it's at 80. It's the right size, but we want to change that swing. We want that guy to swing this way. Like that. All right, so that's how it looks there. And now it's kind of gunked up because we've got a couple things overlapping each other. So we get our shift, hold, hold the shift key to pick all three. Go to our mall. Block turns it into a mall. And there we have it. Uh, we've got the second floor, master bedroom, uh, patio door, venting, 
Uh, this is the escape for the master. Goes out onto the balcony. Uh, this is the first floor balcony, which is five feet off the ground. Thank you for checking out Chief Architect Workshop. Please remember to go to our YouTube channel, Chief Architect Workshop, and subscribe.